Hey guys, this is Will Ray, team leader of the Gathering Team, where together we find home. I uh, want to share with you one of the most fantastic properties that um, I think we've ever listed. And uh, that's not being hyperbolic. This is truly a one of a kind type of property. I uh, just want to share with you and do a quick walkthrough of um, this property. Um, so this is on Brushy Creek Road, 3906 Brushy Creek Road in Greer. Uh, it's within walking distance of Century Park, uh, walking distance of downtown Greer. Uh, it's sidewalked all the way through. Uh, what's great about that is it's incredibly walkable, uh, bikeable, whatever you'd like to do. So there's a lot of really good opportunities and options here uh, for this particular property. So I'm just gonna kind of look at some of the exterior photos here. It's all brick, which is uh, fantastic. It's about 3,600 uh, square feet under roof. Um, it was partially used as a floral shop kind of down in the, uh, the split level. So kind of the lower uh, basement area uh, was used as a floral shop. So um, there would be some conversion that would need to take place. Uh, obviously, as you can see, um, you know, there's gonna be some renovations and some updates and upgrades that you would wanna do to the property, uh, but it would make a fantastic property just to live in, fix or flip uh because of the size um but also most importantly it offers a lot of opportunity in terms of what you can do with the land itself so it sits on a little over an acre okay there are three other structures that are there and this is kind of the back area here this is the first one so again brick with some vinyl siding here it's got a garage underneath and it's got kind of a living area up up at the top here that could certainly be converted into a livable space that you could use or you could tear it down subdivide build new construction with the market being the way that it is uh, there's ample opportunity especially because of location you're going to be able to get top dollar there's a secondary structure next to it which is mostly just kind of a garage area uh, again it's open space though so uh, you could convert that into a livable space if you'd like. Uh, and then lastly, you have another space here. Same deal. Uh, it could be converted into a livable space. So now we're just going to kind of give you an aerial overview of what this looks like. So again, sidewalks are here. Takes you all the way downtown, or you can go into Century Park. This whole area here and where the trees are here is basically all of the property. Okay, including this right here. So there is a separate entrance already paved uh, to where you could go to these other secondary structures. Uh, again, all of this could get subdivided out. Uh, you could tear it down, build it up, or you could use the structures that's in place, renovate it and turn that into uh, something that you may wanna you know, look at. So we're actually gonna give you a, a, a bit of a walkthrough here um, in the property, just so that you can kind of see how everything's laid out. So we're going to kind of give you a view floor plan. So this is kind of the general basement area here. Um, again, this is mostly just kind of storage space here, uh, workshop type area. As you can see, um, this home has plenty of space. There is a, uh, a restroom off of this area here. So whether you're an investor or a developer um, or someone that just would love the opportunity to have such a large space in, in the proximity of this fantastic um, downtown Greer area um, for 275, th this is a phenomenal deal in terms of what you're getting, not just with the acreage, but also with the square footage of the main building but also all those other secondary structures. So again, this is where it was used as a floral shop here. Um, you've got uh, kind of an area that goes up here. This goes into this really large and nice um, kind of a sunroom type area. Uh, again, you've got some cabinets. So this would make a really great area for entertaining if you were to ever fix that up. Um, and then you kind of go down, it loops back around into this main area here. And this is where you have kind of that walk-in refrigeration area. Again, you could theoretically convert that into uh, this into a bedroom space. This you already have kind of a built-in closet area here. Um, 
you've got this open space here. And then again, there's um, some more refrigeration and or closet storage that you can use. Um, now it is zoned residential, but I don't think you'd run into any major issues if you wanted to try to rezone that into kind of a mixed use or commercial. So we're gonna go up to the main area here. Again, the home certainly could use some love and some attention, but at the price that you're at with the, the amount of square footage you have, it's a remarkable opportunity. All right, so this is kind of the kitchen area here. This is kind of the main living area, front entrance. You do also have a uh, screen and porch out here. Don't think we've got photos of that, but you do have a screen and porch right off of the main living area here. All right, so got a bedroom off to the left here, as you can see. And we're gonna post this uh, link in the description. So if you'd like to walk through this yourself, you certainly have the ability to do so. Um, again, this is a full bath here, kind of in between the bedrooms. So just so you can kind of see the floor plan of how this looks. You got kind of your main huge area down here where they had the floral shop. You've got your sunroom, bedroom, we're right here in the bathroom. And then you got that kind of in the middle of those two bedrooms along with your living area and dining room area right off the kitchen. All right, so we're gonna go back. And we're gonna look at this last little bedroom here. All right. Well, we certainly would love an opportunity to work with anybody that's interested in this home. If you have questions or if you'd like to get some numbers together, uh, certainly feel free to reach out. Our contact information is going to be in the description below. Uh, again, I don't expect this to sit long in this tight inventory market. But this would make a really great opportunity for somebody to be able to make some extra money, uh, either through putting in rentals, putting in new construction, or just enjoying the amount of space and privacy that you have uh, so close to downtown Greer if you were to make it a primary residence. Uh, again, this is Will Ray, team leader of the gathering team where together we find home.